I've already got a chain here of 12. Now we're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to yarn over. So that's when you wrap your yarn around your hook and hold it with your index finger. And then we're going to insert into the fourth like you would do a half double crochet and pull up so you have three loops on your hook just like you would a half double crochet but instead of going through all three we're going to break it up and go through two at a time so we're going to yarn over pull through two two loops left on your hook and then yarn over and pull through the last two creating a double crochet and the reason why we're going to the fourth chain from the hook is so that we have an actual chain here that's the same height as the double crochet so that when we finish the row we're still going to have 12 stitches and we're not going to lose any here okay so let's get my hook back in and yarn over insert your hook pull through three loops on your hook going to grab two of those and pull through and then grab some yarn and pull through the last two and that's a double crochet guys so you continue that to the end and I'll show you how to do the turn okay so I'm at the end now just take that out for a second and we've got 12 here so we've got the chain at the start here one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I put my hook back in and we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. And we're going to miss this chain here. If we go into this um, stitch, sorry, if we go into this stitch now, then we're going to have 13 double crochets. So this here will count as a stitch. So if you ever see in a pattern it says chain two or chain three, count as a stitch. That means that you don't then place another stitch into the same, so you skip this one. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop, three on the hook, pull through two, and pull through two. And it's as easy as that really. Just keep practicing and watching back the other videos, and it's good to just create a chain and just continue working the stitches that you've just learnt by me just to get yourself used to the hand movements and the, you can look at the stitch heights and remember the difference and just get your hands familiar with all of this hard work that they're doing after doing everything else that they have to do. Okay, so that is how you do your double crochets.